they need to see. We're going to go ahead and do a demo. I'm going to help you all to prepare your casts for the project, and then I'm going to actually do this on um, a real patient. So you get a little bit of both, kind of see what it looks like um, from the project standpoint as well as from the patient standpoint. So the first thing I want to look at are my casts. So <laughs> when we pour these master casts, our goal is to have two to um, two to four in the land area from here to here and one to two in height. If you all look at your master cast that someone poured for you, you're gonna find that this land area is really tall, okay? The, the vertical wall on the inside here is too tall, okay? If you're gonna try to put material and fill the depth of this vestibule and the width, what you're gonna find is that these two walls are so parallel to one another that you're not gonna be able to get it off, okay? These walls are gonna lock it in. So the first thing we're gonna do before we start this process is we're actually gonna trim these walls down so that the inside here from the depth of the vestibule up is about a millimeter to two millimeters. So I'm gonna take quite a bit of this off in order to have that where I want it. I'm gonna look at the same thing on my cast where I did a little bit of a better job of having that wall be shorter here and here. It's still a little bit tall in this area, so I'm gonna trim that area down, okay? I'm gonna do that after I do the demo of the drawing just so that we can move through this pretty quickly and you guys can be drawing along with me and getting something done, okay? So to mark the maxilla, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle the incisive papilla. I'm gonna put a line in the middle. I'm gonna draw a line down the center of the crest of the ridge. Okay. I'm gonna draw a line down, and you can use any color for this, doesn't really matter. What I like to do then is transfer this line to the land area with something that's straight. I can use something like that. And I'm gonna go across the midpoint of this incisive pillow. Mm -hmm. Good. So now I have my references on my cast. I didn't get that one where I wanted it. So now when I cover all of this up, I'll still be able to see where my ridge is, where my midline is, where the midpoint of my incisive uh, papilla is, so that I can make my wax rim appropriately. Okay, so that's the maxilla. I'm gonna do the same thing for the mandible, except for in the mandible, I'm gonna also do the retromolar pad here. Okay, so I'm gonna circle it. I'm gonna mark the midpoint of it, and I'm gonna transfer that out here. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna go down the center of the crest of the ridge. Transfer that line onto the land area. And you don't actually have to draw the lines on here as long as you extend them where they need to go. That's the most important part. And then I'm gonna mark the anterior ridge like that. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay, these lines connecting that center of that ridge all the way across and all the way forward and back. For the mandible, the, the retromolar pad is an important reference, so we have that. Now once I cover all of this up, I'll be able to see where the halfway mark is. One other mark that I like to make, and this is just me personally, you do it at an angle that you can see it on the, the, the camera. So right now this land area is pretty tall, but you if you look at the cast where it takes this upward curve, I like to mark that out here as well, okay? And you all don't wanna mark your cast until you trim them, all right? Just so you know, because if you start marking, you're gonna trim all this away. 
Okay, so you you got something that's gonna look like that. Okay, I'm gonna do this on on this cast and let you see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with trimming it in the areas that I think are too tall, like this area right here. And I'm gonna try not to make a huge mess. So use your suction. You should also wear masks and glasses when you do this. Here. Oh, yeah. It was working a minute ago. 